Sup, sup, sup. My name is Rio for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and this is Bojans. Roll is requested, so if you have yet to see a requested video that you want, relax. It's coming. It's being worked on. Just because a deck doesn't reach the council as fast as everyone else seems to post every single deck profile on the planet because there's so many Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubers, doesn't mean I'm not working on it. I'm constantly working on stuff for you guys, but it's just I feel like I can't post out deck profile, deck profile, deck profile. I will never be satisfied with that. So, let's talk about Bujins today, and then if there's a deck profile you have to see, post in the comments so I can actually get to it. And let's talk about Bujin. So, we are running three of the Mika. That's how I'm going to say it, because every time I try to say it the other way, I stutter. Blame the head injury. Three Yamato, two of the Turtle, two of the Hare, one of the Quill. Three of the crane and two eyes. That's my monster lineup. It's 15 monsters. It's not tons of monsters, but goddamn, it's ever consistent. Now the reason I run eyes is because, well, I know Bujins have the three crane. They have the other one where you can just basically use them from the graveyard. Honestly, I feel it's like too predictable to use the one from the graveyard, and I feel Yamato with eyes is just hilarious because the double, you know, the double, the double attack standard. The the gain that Honest gives you is hilarious. And you should never say no to Honest in a light deck. That's just kind of my standpoint. Because you can Honest to Honest, or you can Honest to Crane, and it just it, it's it's too good. It's freaking too good. You can't crane a crane. You don't understand what I mean, guys? You can't crane a crane. You have to honest the crane. It just sounds so weird. So let's go to spells. One Raigeki, two Buj Incarnation, three pod duality, two MST, one Book of Moon. Three tanky. The one problem I still feel with Bujins is they are very slow, and that sucks right now for them because everything's pretty much fast tempo that's in the meta. So when you have something that's slow, it's harder for the deck to keep up. So we are running a big trap lineup, and yeah, I know, Denko Seka is a fucking thing. Trust me, I know. One bottomless, two sword manifesting war god. You guys know it as Bujin Relica the Sword. I just read the. Japanese name. Two Mirror Force, one Torrental, one Ring of Destruction, one Vanny's Emptiness, two Penis Chain, two Call of the Haunted, one Solemn Warning. I like Call of the Haunted because when all else fails, Brent Honest back. <laughs> when all else fails, Brent Honest back. Ryu's greatest statement of the year. In all honesty, it really is. Dark Exceed Rebel Dragon, two Bujin Susano, one Ragnar Zero, one Conseller Omega, one Tenki Tiger King. Te Whoa! One Brotherhood of Fire Fist Tiger King. He is the Tenki Searcher, hence I call him the Tenki King. He gets you your Tenki. One Black Ship because I still feel it's underrated. One single 101. One Cat. Uh, whoa. One Heart and Land Draco. How'd you sneak in there before I got to my Castell? Damn you. One Castell. One Direwolf. I like Direwolf because Direwolf blows shit up. And this is the one deck that doesn't really have too much of that. And I feel Direwolf just is good for that reasoning. You, I mean, you know, you get stuck with these guys and you're honest with them. Direwolf is just so good at putting them in the grave. Enough said. One Star Leech wins games. Every light deck that can make it pretty much should be running it. Should, if you can fit it in. One Exoton Knight, one Best Dweller, one Cowboy. That's the entire um, lineup right there. You can just rewind your video where I go over a few last things. I know I'm only running 15 monsters, you could max out to like 18, get away with it. Honestly, the deck just mainly focuses on Miki, yes I said Miki, Mikia and Yamato. Without these cards, these 5 monsters, you're going to be in a shitload of trouble and it's going to suck. It's going to be it's gonna be a rainy fucking day for you when you try going for it, when you try making your play. So that's why I just wanted to cut down on the relics, just go straight into the focus of the deck. Have the double honest because they just act as better monsters because that makes everything else you could sit on. And then you can make a play. You can go into rank four. You could do things. You can get the tanky. You from the tanky. You can play the tanky. And then you could just get your war god, aka the Bujins. They used to be called war gods, just saying. Just saying. I'm just showing my stuff. Anyway, I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Keep requesting because it keeps me busy and keeps me happy. That's how I'm gonna say it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.